Okay, so today we have this legend Mario. Yeah. He's been uh, racing stooge boards and basically any electric PEV device that he can get his hands on. So today we're intro to speed, just get a little information on him and what ticks him. Yeah, so um, I guess we started the, the search for, um, I guess the thrill. I kind of started off on a fixie single speed riding. I would love bombing hills. I kind of, what, like, that's kind of what kind of what started it um, before electric skateboards. Um, after that, I started watching uh, a lot of Casey Neistat and he was like, yeah. a, he was kind of like a huge influence. You know, I was, um, at some point in my life, I was relying on bird scooters to get to work. Okay, okay. And um, it, it would come to the point where I would get to them and the batteries were dead and they didn't, it wasn't on the app and it would, it would be really annoying and I would get like to work. So I was like, you know what, I, I love the, um, the lifestyle that kind of Casey Nice that would like put out there uh -huh. that was you know it was like a possibility yeah um, of just riding your own electric electric skateboard to yeah. work you know I thought that was really cool um, and that's pretty much what got me into it I ended up uh, ordering a Meepo NLS before nice. the Pro came out nice. um, as my first board um, and after that I it's, Two months later, I, I wanted more power, you yeah. know, more range, and I uh, found the prototypo someone was selling in Venice Beach, and I dropped the savings I was saving up for a motorcycle okay. uh, back back a couple years ago, and I put it on the skateboard, and I kind of fell in love with it. Hell yeah, hell <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when did you get into uh, Stooge? Stooge, that came, okay, so I got July of 2019, I got the LaCroix, July, a few months later down the line, November, so I'll do the math, like four or five months later, I so got- So you were only in electric skateboarding for like eight months before you got into our actual race board. Oh yeah, Damn, yeah. Damn, dude, yeah. like you went progress, progress to the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. So how long uh, How long have you been doing intro to speed? Okay, so intro to speed came like immediately after that first race season we had in 2019. Okay. The Eastgate SOS hosted by Mo Stooge, uh, Mo Biggs. He's the one that creates those like crazy boards that yeah. we race these days, and um, so I don't know. Like the con, like uh, we started that January of 2020. So the last race was in this the first, either first or second week of uh, December okay. of 2019, and then January uh, we started intro to speed. <laughs> And uh, I'm one of the riders at Intro to Speed. Uh, this is my board. It's the number 18 Stooge Race Board V5. Uh, I set it up as all-wheel drive. Um, so it's um, 15S um, with LiPo now at this point um, with um, two bio, um, bio boards vests um, for all-wheel drive. Um, it's basically a fun thing. This is actually from my first intro to try this one. Um, and I've been coming to intro now for two years. I started off riding my bike um, and just watching these guys on the skateboards, I realized, man, these guys are the best on skateboards. And if I really wanted to learn how to race, uh, ride, this is the place to be. Uh, I mean, we got the top riders and they're proven. Uh, I think. You know, it's definitely improved my riding a lot. You know, I actually started riding here. Um, and now I'm on a V5. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is the Stooge V5. It's number three, the third one ever produced. There's been a few changes to strengthen them up since some of the things we tested. Uh, so they're on like V20 version, or board 20 now. This is a race board using LiPos. I don't know if that's in camera. Uh, Castle Electronics and Castle Motors. Open gear drive and custom race wheels. I'm actually coming out with a new version of this tire. Uh, which is gonna have grooves in it for better heat dissipation. And uh, we've been working a ton on the compound. We first tried these tires and they were awesome. Uh, but then we had something change and then we then Mo spent a whole bunch of time perfecting this with the guys that make these. And they're coming out really, really, really good and they're literally the best tires I've ever been on in my entire life. Uh, I've destroyed every other kind of tire out there. How fast does this board go? Uh, they go as fast as you want to give them, I think. People have done 63 on most boards. I have done 53. This is my top speed on this board. Uh, and I never wanted to go fast. This board's very stable. We got Brandon, AKA Redbeard here. How's it going, how's it This going? guy's a fucking legend. He's won plenty of races, the AVS. He's been doing this for years. And uh, I'm just gonna get a little bit of info on why he does intro to speed, why he races, and what ticks you, man. What ticks me? Shit, um, speed, adrenaline. Um, shit, I, I like to go fast. Uh, Skating in general is a passion of mine since I was since I've been a little kid. Since I was able to walk, I was on skateboards. Um, all kinds of shit from skating, surfing, mountain biking. Uh, so as I got a little bit older, I got tired of kick push. <laughs> we all <laughs> did. <laughs> and uh, e-skate was just kind of a natural progression. Like, you know, I just kind of bought a, a boosted mini board, and oh, that like, was your first board. Boosted mini was my first board. And uh, I had it for about a month, and I was like, I, I need something better than this. And I quickly upgraded to an Evolve. Um, I got a GTR, actually watching this guy and watching, um, you know, Justin Yee on, on the damn GTR. So I was like, oh, I want one of those. So I hopped on one of those. And, and you had it for like a month? I had that one for like a month and a half. And then I got in touch with, with Dave, um, Psycho Tiller. Um, and uh, we, we made a DIY of, you know, a real custom fast board. Hell yeah. And then that's kind of what take me into the edge of, of being okay this is this is what I want to do like this is fast this is this is racing um, my mindset was like this is what I want and oh, then yeah. um, the first race I entered I didn't even plan on racing that day I just you know Dave told me come down check it out and he put me on a board and I ended up winning the fucking race. Oh so you raced the Psycho Tiller the first time. The very and first then won. time and I won and I raced against Stooge boards that day too, which is kinda of fucking crazy. Oh shit. And uh, so that started the SOS series and I, I, I raced them onto that and I, I won I think um, I won every race except for the last race, but it was a points champion. So I, I won the championship of that. And then it carried on to Stooge. Like after that it was like okay, well Stooge is the next progression. <laughs> yeah. So I hopped on one of those. Um, I actually blew both my motors in the last race of the SOS Championship Series. So Brad from Riptide gave me his board to race, his Stooge like Ember conversion kit thing. Nice, yeah, yeah. And I raced that against Mario, and I, I've never stepped on a Stooge before, but I was fucking blown away. Did top. you like get like uh, shaky, or were you just like fucking ready to ride it? Uh, it was a little bit like this is crazy, but I'm gonna fucking do it, and oh, yeah. I just got on it and. We just we went for it. And it was like <laughs> Mario and I just left the pack alone, and we just like raced ourselves. Um, and after that, it was just like, okay, Stooge is the way to go. So, how long have you been racing a Stooge board? Uh, two and a half years. Two and what's the years. fastest you've ever been on one? 50, 55 ish, fifty four. That's what they're geared for right now. Shoot. So I mean, they're not they're not really they're not really geared any faster than that. You can make them go way faster than that if you want.